It is difficult to know whether your child is a cyberbully or being subjected to cyberbullying or both. And the reason for that is that the products are designed to evade parental oversight. Snapchat, for example, with its disappearing messages, is marketed to teens as a way for them to engage in, uh, in, in, act, in inappropriate behavior and have it never be found out, as, uh, and, as with uh, Instagram, uh, as with TikTok. And as a consequence, it's very hard to know exactly what your kids are doing online. Uh, but I think if you find that your kids are uh, delighting in, uh, in uh, or, or, or unkind to other people offline, in all likelihood they're unkind online. But again, the, 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 the focus of every parent, until these products are reformed, until these very dangerous products are made safer, is to push very hard to find out what their children are doing online, kind of to use a combination of a carrot and stick approach. On one hand, you have to have the uh, relationship with your children that they feel comfortable talking. On the other hand, you have to realize that as teenagers, they're not going to tell you everything that they're doing. I mean, we didn't tell our parents. Why would we expect our kids to tell us? It's a real challenge that parents have right now. And unless and until these, these product dangers are fixed, uh, parents are going to be fighting an uphill battle to know what their kids are doing uh, on social media.